Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and uh, I was going to talk a little bit about uh, something I just picked up. I've actually had these before. This is about my fourth one that I've had, and uh, they hold up. It's just the fact that I use the hell out of these, and uh, even even using them heavy, they hold up for me, but then what happens is someone comes and wants to borrow it, and by the time I get it back, they've decided to modify it, uh, and that's kind of the problem I had the other day when I went to use mine. So I just went ahead. They're cheap. Uh, these are like 40 bucks at Harbor Freight, so I picked one up. But it's a Hallmaster one-ton truck bed unloader, and I'm not sponsored. They're not paying me for this. This is just something I use a lot that makes things a lot easier, so I just wanted to share it with you. And uh, basically, you can kind of see the design. I'm going to get it out here in just a minute, and uh, it it uh, basically hooks onto the bed of your truck. You got like a little little tarp. It's kind of like a conveyor belt. You stretch out the length of your truck. And you see how I've got all this dirt in the back of my truck? Well, it, besides uh, keeping your truck a little bit cleaner, I mean, it still does get out on the side. It just makes it so easy to unload. And I use this for gravel, for, uh, for dirt, for... Pretty much anything heavy that uh, I haul in the truck, I use these for. Right now, I'm adding on to our raised bed garden. I know everything looks like a mess right now because it's winter, and plus my uh, greenhouse ones, the storm just kind of completely destroyed, so we're rebuilding those. But I'm filling up a couple of these, and so uh, pretty much I'm going in the barn, I'm getting uh, tractor loads of horse manure, putting some horse manure in there, and then I'm getting topsoil from one of the little garden stores that's in town, and that's where this is going to come in very handy right now, uh, because we're going to, basically I can unload an entire truck full of dirt in about a minute and a half, where when I did it with a shovel the other day, it was a couple minutes. It was, well, it was about 15, 20 minutes. So we're going to get it out of the box. We're going to put it together, hook it up, and then we're going to go down to the landscape store. All right, you open it up. You get your uh, main unit, your little bar and conveyor belt. You get your crank handle. You got your side pieces. And then a whole bunch of screws to put it together and a manual. So we're going to grab some tools and we're going to put it together and put it on the truck. So I've got it put together. You end up with one locking collar. You slide it on, you tighten it up. You put your, uh, uh, your brace that goes over your tailgate on. And then you put another locking collar. One thing when you're building it, put them in as close as possible. But uh, kind of watch is... You want to make sure that you can get it where you can shut the tailgate of the truck, but also you want to be able to make sure your little uh, crank handle that you can turn it and it's going to clear your uh, clear your pickup. I have made that mistake in the past. So basically, once you get that on, uh, you're just going to put the straps on. And the other ones I had, the straps, uh, I liked having them go the other way, but this one, I'm not sure uh, exactly why, but it's got a little piece that hooks onto your bumper, a little strap that keeps it from, keeps the tailgate from coming up, and that's on the other side. So I guess these are, got to be routed the other way through, so it goes under the tailgate and up, and then you're just going to latch it uh, right through here.
All right, so we got everything home. Getting ready to pop the dirt in the raised bed. And I've got everything rigged up. I've got my bumper strap that uh, keeps it from coming up. Now, one thing I did, you want to watch when you put these together, and uh, is uh, the way this comes out, you want to make sure this goes to the edge. You don't want it the other way around to where you're pulling it back, like if this was turned around right now, and the dirt would come here, and then it goes under, because then it all gets trapped in here, and you have a mess. I actually put this together wrong. I didn't catch that until I was down there, and it was a little late. So I turned it around once I get this load out. Uh, I mean, it was a little late once I was there. But once I get this load out, I'm just going to uh, take it apart and flip that bar around just to make sure that I've got it right. But... I've got the tractor up here. Normally you can just back up and unload it where you want to go. My raised beds are higher up than what my truck sets. So, uh, you know, this is a nice alternative that you can do as well is I've got the uh, New Holland 1720 here and uh, backed right up. I'm just gonna unload it into the bucket and then drive over and dump it straight from the bucket. So, uh, as far as unloading, you put your little handle in and you just start turning. This is where it's important not to uh, overload it because if you overload it, it makes it a pain to get down. And I've actually had it mess up the, uh, break one of the straps, the bumper, bumper retaining strap once when I had way too much sand when I was doing a watermelon patch. But I can't do this, hold the camera, and uh, do it at the same time because I need two hands. But uh, just turn it like a fishing reel. <laughs> 